Hello everyone, this is the Volvo D5 engine, uh, D244 T15 to be precise. Uh, if you're looking at this, you've probably come to work, work out why you, your engine destroyed itself and how to fix it. Uh, I'll just show you uh, what happened to my original engine. So this is my original head. For whatever reason, it might have happened to yours, but the timing will slip. Um, and then you find that the uh, pistons hit the valves and the valves have got this sort of fixing casting should I say which sits uh, underneath the rockers and they all smash off um, so you, you end up with a, a cylinder head full of broken parts that sort of rattle around uh, and it destroys the actual casting of the head so you've got to send that back <laughs> or uh, get a replacement at least uh, luckily I spoke to the, the guys at Autotech Heads They've supplied me with a refurbed head and so hopefully I'm going to show you how to set the timing up um, So before I put the head on I set the, uh, the pistons at what I thought was top dead centre There's a, a couple of notches One there on the actual crank itself and one on the plastic cover behind it uh, and they have to be uh, aligned. So uh, I've sent some of these uh, timing locking pins. One of them, unfortunately, you have to remove your starter motor for, and it lives down there. Um, so I was only able to fully push that in um, when this was slightly uh, clockwise past the marks. Um, but it won't, now it's in, it's pushed, come fully in, it won't go any further back, that's physically locked in now. Um, I guess it could move clockwise, but it won't move anti-clockwise. So with that, I aligned the two holes on the cams. You've probably seen that if you've done some Googling. I was a bit worried about tightening these down, not having the, the overall timing right, but be able to tweak them all down. And then we've got another pin that sits at the end here that pops in there and it slots into the, the hole inside the, uh, if you can just see that maybe somewhere. There you go, look, that goes in there. So they're locked and so I've uh, I put the pulley on temporarily just to lock them in and they are going nowhere. So that is an engine which is locked mechanically in place. Uh, and the next stage is to put the, uh, the belt on tension it up and then take the pins out and the timing should be uh, should be set and it should be ready to go and uh, I can start the uh, rebuild process.